Kristen Scavira, 7 News. Oh, that's pretty neat. Hopefully that's the last malfunction we'll see. Thanks a lot, Kristen. Well, it could be two weeks before water is running again in the small eastern Colorado town of Iliff. Iliff is about two hours outside of Denver, up near the Nebraska border. They have been without water for a week now. As 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn tells us, the problem started with spring flooding. Yeah, you guys, 250 people out in this small town near the Nebraska border, and for many of them, this is it, the only source of water, these two huge bladders out in front of the school. Inside the Dietrich home, <laughs> no water. the dishes are we piling up. up. <laughs> Load it up. So we had to go to paper. On day nine without water, Jody and Tim load up yet again. Then you have to run in town 30 miles to yeah, take a shower. Head to their daughter's home past Sterling. The town of Iliff is doing what it can, providing porta potties. It has been rough. Um, it's a lot of uh, long days with no shower, no bathrooms unless we bring the water in. Inconvenience is one thing, but it, you know, there's a lot of older people in this town that can't get out or get around. The problem lies somewhere underneath here. Well, we're uh, trying to find uh, the water break in the line and uh, we're dewatering right now. The groundwater table is so high that we had to put in 40 foot screens. It's clear a fix for this problem will be, and already has been, complicated. Take a look at the main road into Iliff. A quarter of a mile of it here is underwater with the South Platte well beyond its banks. The break is somewhere between us and those crews up there, maybe even under the river itself. If that's the situation, that's a worst case scenario. They'd have to wait for the South Platte to recede and a fix, a permanent fix, could come as late as August. In Iliff, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.